I've always wondered what it would be like to be poor. Like, poor, poor. Like, really, really poor. Um, I, I had a couple of teachers for parents, and so we didn't have, like, a lot of money, but... We, we had plenty growing up, and, and we had a nice house. We had, we had a good upbringing, and right now, uh, my family, we're technically under the poverty line, but we have plenty. Like, we have plenty, and we have a safety net of people. Like, I have enough people in my life, family, friends, that if something were to happen to my family or to me, the anyone remaining, we'd be fine. We'd be okay. But I always wonder what it would be like to really have nothing. I think about Jesus' first beatitude. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And I wonder, what would it be like to be truly poor or to be spiritually needy like really 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 needy uh, Henry Nowen liked to say when he looked at that beatitude that we shouldn't care about the poor just because we have something to give them if the kingdom of heaven is for the poor and the poor in spirit then the poor have something to teach us. What are we missing in the kingdom of heaven by not being needy, by not having needs? What are we missing about the kingdom of God? As we, as we help and serve people in our community by giving out food, by helping people with housing, by helping people move, I want to ask, I want to challenge us. What do people that we're serving have to teach us about the kingdom of God?